Welcome back uh, to your Atlantic Builders Customer Service Managers. Mine is Carl. He's outside taking care of some stuff for us right now. But we're going to go ahead with your fall maintenance tips. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is inspect all smoke detectors throughout the house. We're in the basement, so we're going to check this one. I'm getting a little ladder. We're going to step up here. You know, wipe any dust off of it. Um, we're going to hold it, test it. You can hear them going through the house. It takes about 30 seconds. They'll stop. Next, we want to take this down. Right. We're going to check the batteries right here. It, now's a good time to change them. It's best to change your batteries every fall and every spring, um, just so that we know they work. And then we'll just pop this thing back in after we change the batteries. And then lock that in. All right. as, you, as the beeping goes off on the smoke detector, you're going to hear it throughout the entire house. So when you're checking these, you should go through the house, even though you're hearing them, and check each detector and change the battery. All right, next we're still in the basement. We're going to look at GFIs. You've got one of these at any sump pump or any hung sewer in the basement. This is for your outside lights. So it's a good idea to check these once a year. It's simple. Just hit the test button. You'll see a red light right there. And that tells you that the GFI is working. Now to reset it, you just push that in and simple as that. If this light goes back off, this means this GFCI is great to go. Hi, we're in the basement, and what we're going to do is take a look at the maintenance that would need to be done average every three to six months. Just check. You want to check on your filters. This system has the, the larger media filter, which is at the base of your air handler. A lot of homes actually have them in the walls upstairs. Uh, it's the wall filters, but we're moving towards the media filters. It's easy to do. You just pull it off set it aside and they just come right out. I'm not going to pull it out all the way, but you can pull it out. What you want to do is check how dirty the actual filter is. Typically, if it's almost white, you're good. Once it starts turning gray at all, you really should change it because all the dirt that gets in here when it starts turning gray is just going to go into your home, into your lungs, into your kids' lungs that's what you're trying to avoid so make sure those stay clean super easy to put back on you just put these guys back in the little hooks on the side and we're in some homes have two some have one and again some have the actual smaller filters in the walls so make sure you you check on your filters three to six months often while we're down here looking at the air filters, another thing to bear in mind is your condensation line should be going up and out of the house. But if you have water in the system, that's something you should take care of right away. So if your condensate is for some reason backing up into your pan, you're going to need to make sure that gets taken out. Just get a shop vac to suck it out and clean it up. That'll be easy enough to do if it happens. While we're still here by the HVAC, you also have dampers on the unit. This is a manual damper, which is right here. Some of our houses have electronic dampers. You need to do nothing with them. They automatically do it. With these, you could turn this down if you wanted to adjust the airflow to the upper floor um, to your comfort. On your comfort spot, you mark that spot for next year. Right? Same thing while we're in this area. We're looking for a humidifier. This house does not have one, but if it did, it would be right here. Um, you would want to check the filter and go by manufacturer specs to clean this, which is usually change the filter and wipe it out. All right, some houses have a walk out basement, some have a walk up basement. If you have a walk up basement, you're going to have a drain right here in this area right here. Please make sure that's free of all debris, leaves, everything. It's got a little cap you can pull off, make sure there's nothing that fell down in there. And you should check that several times a year. All right, now we're in the foyer, we're gonna check doors. You should check all the exterior doors, sliders in the front door, back doors, garage door. But this door here, we wanna make sure, we're one, there's no air gap around it, which I can see none. Two, we're gonna open to make sure we got a good contact where the deadbolt works. Now we're gonna open and we're going to look at the ceiling around the door. If, if you can squish it and you got a little bit of water coming out, it's time to change them. If you got any rips, tears from cats, dogs, anything, they should be replaced. If you do need to replace the weather stripping, you would simply pull it out. You can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get new, and it just slides right back in very easily. Now, 
Sometimes you do have to trim it. Most of the time you have to trim it with a pair of scissors or something, but you just go right back into place. Should have a little bit of drag on the door when you shut this. This paper should drag and it does. You don't, if, if you had an air gap there, it would slide right in and out easily. The threshold here is adjustable. Um, if the paper trick didn't work, if it was loose, you would pop these out like this and you would adjust these screws a quarter a turn at a time. Check your paper trick again to make sure it's rubbing. Once you get rubbed, you're good, but a quarter turn at a time, once you get that adjusted, then you can pop your clips back in like that and you're done. Another homeowner maintenance that's really important is to make sure that you keep your gutters safe and clean and clear from the trees, even though the trees may not be right on your property edge, they're still here. And when it's windy, the wind will carry the leaves and the twigs airborne and they often do land in the gutters, even though they're not right next to the gutters. So the gutters can get filled up with the leaves. Easy to maintain. You're gonna need a tall ladder or hire somebody to get up there and clean out your gutters. Even if you have gutter guards, the leaves can land and stay on top. Those still will need to be cleared off. Another thing is another homeowner maintenance is to check the cracks, if you have any, on your foundation wall. If you look at your homeowner's guide and refer back, hairline cracks are not really anything that we do anything about unless it's an eighth of an inch or wider, or even more importantly, if it leaked into the house, typically you would have to let us know. But hairline cracks, there's nothing that you really do for those. But please do be attentive to checking often as you do the yard work. Just take a look at your foundation. And one other thing, just to bring it up, since we're talking about foundations and the exterior and homeowner maintenance, as you can see here, there's a little bit of, from where we painted the foundation at, at closing, there has been a little bit of settlement here. Anytime you see a little bit of settlement, it is homeowner maintenance to come back and fill it up a little bit, backfill with dirt. What you wanna do is just get a bag or two of dirt, fill it back up so it's back to grade how it should be so that the water as it rains flows away from the house. Very important. Another thing to make sure you're mindful of uh, as we go through cleaning your gutters and we move into winter, make sure if there's any ice that forms up on your gutters that you have the time to remove the ice from that. That will help that from not damming up and going back into your shingles. One other thing for homeowner maintenance to mind about is you've got a brand new lead walk. Your lead walk has a top cream that if you use what you can find at Home Depot, the big box stores, please do not in the first two years use any of the de-icers. It will eat the cream on top of your concrete and it will end up spalding and looking really, really unfortunate. So bottom line on here, on your lead walk or anything else you may have, whether you have a concrete driveway, concrete porch that's not covered, Please, if you want to put anything on there, use sand. That's going to be your safest, best thing. It will not destroy your, your concrete top. It'll keep you safe. You won't fall and you'll love your, you'll love your sidewalk.